I was like 33 years old. I had just went through a divorce and it was a difficult time for me. Um, in a lot of ways, I felt like I was back at the drawing board of my life. And as tough as that reality seemed, I had a certain comfort. God had spoken to me like in the midst of the storm. He assured me that I would catch a break. But first I had to go through the storm. And it just one day, you know, while I'm in my process, I met um, one of my friends uh, who was a dope entrepreneur. He went on to introduce me to his friends who were all dope entrepreneurs. I was immediately inspired. It inspired me to the point that I began to dig deep down on the inside of myself and find that thing, you know, just that, that thing that just said this little country boy from the small back roads of North Carolina could be the next billionaire, the next big tech CEO, whatever I wanted to be, I could do that. That was something that I just grabbed a hold of and never let go. And it caused me to realize something. I realized I had been dreaming of limits this whole time. It's a dream, like, at least it should be limitless there, right? <laughs> and that was a moment for me. That was the moment that I took the chains of limits off of me. So I began to look at things that I never thought I could own. Oh, and I love this house. How much is it? 36 million? Oh, I love this car. How much is it? A quarter million? And after a while, these things that at one point in time, I couldn't even fathom on and now begin to seem a little more normal. They took on a form of normality for me. The tech industry stood out to me because upon my research, it was the industry that had the most super billionaires but I wasn't afraid of it. And so I'm like, what could I create? What problem could I solve that hasn't already been solved by some techie guy? One of the things that I remember vividly standing out to me was the amount of time I've spent trying to network with the right people and seemingly always falling short. I wish there was something that could help me network with the right people or an alert or something to let me know when I'm in the presence of someone who could be resourceful to me. And it was there, in the midst of trying to create a solution for my problem, that One Degree was born. A networking gap that would alert users when they were in intimate proximity with people who worked in industries that they desired to network with. Also, having the ability to connect and bring awareness to your services that you offer to other users within that same intimate 100 foot proximity. One degree is how the right business partners are found, and one degree is where the revenue of your business increases. Now, one degree is my dream, but always remember, dreams can only become reality when we wake up. So start today.